So Sebastian, uh, I know uh, Jason just got cut off uh, for the live Q&A, but basically, were you able to hear what yeah, he was sure. asking? Can you answer, like, let me just repeat it for our guests that are listening. He was asking, like, what are some of, I guess, the um, the plans that you can take going overseas uh, to already have a full-fledged plan as an educator uh, to educate the kids over there? And then I guess for entrepreneurs, like what are some tips or some jewels uh, that you can share for those people who are entrepreneurs that also want to go into education like yourself and even Jason? Right. So teaching can be a, a second career. It can be a retirement job for people. I think that's uh, something that um, there I mean, there are many older people teaching overseas and um, they, you know, they like it. I mean, they might have some money in the bank and they might be managing their portfolio and uh, paying their bills uh, just with their teaching work. And then they have their portfolio that they're managing um, nightly or on the weekend. And they just they maintain their standard of living in a different way. So you have to find kind of the place you want to be. Um, as far as teaching opportunities go, there are some schools that you definitely want to stay away from that maybe they're not paying you have to do some research before you you know you sign up with a school um, there are many different types of opportunities and types of teaching work um, how do you teach kids well yeah there are many different um, age groups you could say that you like working with younger children middle school age high school age or you like working with adults i mean the options are there so it kind of depends as a professional, what your preference is um, and what what you find out or what you figure out is going to be your your niche, so to speak. But um, as far as like working with kids, how do you teach them? Well, if you're an English teacher, you're teaching them language. They're going to get exposure. You're going to be working with materials that the school provides you. Um, so, I mean, you develop your relationship with your students, you learn their names, you learn how to manage the classroom. And um, those are kind of the steps to becoming a teacher, right? Um, overseas, I think children have a different attitude toward education than in the United States. Uh, if you've worked in the United States as an educator, maybe um, you have had some stars and you've had a lot of students who don't show interest. Overseas, in general, parents motivate their children. And if they're paying for their private language um, institute, you know, for those classes, if the parents are paying for it, the, the students are going there with the intent to learn. And if they're older, they're going to be even more motivated because they have um, a goal, a professional goal. So my second year in Korea, I was teaching at um, um, an institute called Wall Street, um, Wall Street English. Uh, so it's an Italian company. There are different branches around the world. It's kind of like, um, I guess, a franchise, but it's for adults. So again, you know, you could be working with young professionals or college students. And so teaching at that uh, institute, Wall Street English, I got to meet really amazing people. Um, there were professionals, including doctors. There were people who were um, mid-career um, or maybe transitioning or maybe university students. And there were really bright, bright, bright students. They were adults. So that was really fun. And I've kept in touch with some of those students. Um, one came back to one. Uh, he came to the United States for university. He's still here. And I got to see him a couple times this year. Um, so we've kept in touch since um, I met him in 2012. So more than 10 years ago. Um, you make friends as you, you know, work overseas, your um, professional co connections will also probably uh, help you to find your path and have suggestions for you. So um, kind of, you know, working with kids, yeah, young children, that's a specific uh, category of student and you're going to be teaching much simpler things than if you're working with middle school and maybe like teaching math or science, right? So. Um, there are many routes and um, you'll probably find that students overseas are quite different in their approach to school and um, their aptitude than students in the United States in general as a population. Yeah, that's a great point that Sebastian 
uh, was able to answer um, your question, Jason. And we appreciate you, Jason, for uh, asking any questions uh, that you had for Sebastian. Uh, we're definitely in our live Q&A portion of the interview. Uh, we're going to give Sebastian a quick commercial break so he can catch his breath for a second uh, while we give uh, honor to our VIP sponsor for today. And so each and every episode, you all, we highlight a VIP a sponsor for our episodes uh, for entrepreneurs or business owners or even for affiliates that we partner with. And so let's take a look and see who our VIP sponsor is for today. Let's take a look, you all, and see who our VIP sponsor is for today's episode, you all. <laughs> Shout out again to our VIP uh, sponsor for today uh, comes from our affiliate uh, StreamYard. StreamYard is who we use uh, for all of our streaming and even for our clients' uh, streaming needs. If you're someone that has a podcast show, if you're someone that has um, uh, content um, that you are pushing out on YouTube or any of the other platforms, definitely you need to get in tune with StreamYard today, you all. You can receive uh, 30, not $30, $10 off actually by clicking the link that we have in the comment section below uh, by joining the StreamYard family. It's very stable. You can stream to YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, they don't have the IP open for Instagram yet, uh, but it is coming soon. Uh, but definitely. Uh, find out how you can be a part of the StreamYard family by clicking the link below uh, to get $10 off with any of the discounted pricing packages that you signed for today. And we even have our clients work with this platform. And so it is very professional and very business oriented. So shout out to StreamYard as our VIP sponsor for today. Uh, but back to uh, Sebastian, we wanted to definitely pay homage uh, to our affiliate for today. Um, Sebastian, I know the million dollar question always that I, I hear people speaking about when it comes to teaching abroad is, do you recommend, um, especially as being an educator, that people go through any of the agencies, the hiring agencies uh, that can basically, like how we have in the States, uh, plug you or connect you uh, to the schools or to the private uh, schools or the the, um, the language training centers, or do you recommend uh, that people go directly and apply uh, to the positions through the websites at the schools, the training centers, or the, uh, the private institutions or international schools? Yeah, great question. So it's, um, it's really hard to know much about a school until you talk to somebody who works there. Um, if you are working with a recruiter, you might or might not have that opportunity. Um, even a school might have its own private recruiting kind of company, but it's not really its own. Uh, it's not really a separate business. It's just the school has a, a name for the recruiter and 
that's just one on one with the school. So you're not really working with a recruiter. You're just applying to the school. Um, it's more difficult to get some of the more competitive jobs like a university position might be difficult to land from overseas, depending on your credentials. Um, 